Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can use components with flat list in React Native. So we already created some videos on list and flat list. So what is the difference in this video? So see here we will learn that how we can create a custom component and use this uh, component with the flat list. And we will also pass the some props from flat list to that components. And uh, after that I will tell you that how you can apply the style of internal component. Internal components means component which we are using inside the flat list all right so let's start with the points so first of all we will create a list with the flat list and array after that we will apply some style over it over there and we have to make a component and we will use this component inside the flat list or you can say that the inside the list and at the last of this video we will cover some important interview questions related to uh, components and flat and flat list and all so uh, let's start with the code now this is our emulator and here we have our code editor so i am just uh, hiding this explorer this is our app.js file so that we have some more area to just cover the code and all, all right so firstly let me create a array for uh, some users so i am just creating const users I just cut and paste the users data because I want to just save some time because we already know that how we can create this array and object we, because same thing we already created in last four or five videos. All right. So now the next thing is we have to import a flat list there. So let me import flat list. We don't need that uh, uh, style sheet for now. Uh, we will import it once we need it. Right. So let me just import this flat list. And after that, let's use there flat list we can close it and after that we have to pass some probes to their flat list like data data could be uh, users and that should be a array after that we can uh, put their render items and as we know this is basically use a callback function inside this right so what I'm going to do there I will use a parameter which is item and this is basically an object okay so <clears throat> now let's uh, take a text box or no, no text box actually text and we can print the email or name we have three properties id email or name whatever you want to print you can print that let's say i just want to print the name and here we go we just printed that right but we want to print uh, the email id also so that we will use there a view because inside view we, we can only use that uh, to uh, taxes otherwise uh, we cannot we, we will not able to use uh, this text field without a view wrapper all right so now i will just simply put their email and here you can see that name and email both are just printed but this is look like a uh, uh, just simple text not actually look like it uh, you can see that list or uh, even we can see that the list look like like First we have name, then email address, and then name and again email address. So uh, name and email address, both we have from single user and they are not like look like they are combined, right? So how we can fix that for we have to add some style. So now I will just import the style sheet and i will use it at the last with the const let's say styles we can put any name to it whatever you want and let let me use your style sheet dot create and here i will add two objects first one for item we will use this item with the text and uh, another one is box so i will use this box with the view so we can apply these uh, style items there right so let me use styles dot box and now we can simply use styles dot item and same thing we can use with the another text here we go all right so now we have to add some styles with the box and item so let's start with the box so that we can just show name and email address parallelly. So there you can simply use the flex direction. So let's say flex direction is uh, row so that these two elements will be inside the row. Perfect. 
uh, but uh, we have to add some other properties also uh, so let's say uh, we can add their border with that so border color we can add let's say orange and border width could be let's say two after that uh, we, we can add some margins let me just save it right so we can add some margins also so let me add margin bottom and it could be again 10 okay and now let's add some style with the item so firstly i am adding the font size let's say it could be for 24 pixel after that uh, we can add color and color could be um, again orange you can use any color okay so see the both email id and name actually just stick with each other so if i just want to give them equal space so what i can do there i can simply use the flex and if i will just give the flex uh, to the both uh, text one flex to the text first and uh, one flex to the second text then they will just divide that screen in the equal ratio and here you can see that we got the uh, name and email id with equal ratio so if you want to check like uh, first text uh, width and second test width like they are 50 percent or not for that for a moment you can add a background color let's say i'm adding green and you will you can find that uh, both have because there is a no border at all so let me add border once border width one right so now you can see that this is the border width right so 50 percent area will be covered by name and 50 percent with email all right so uh, i don't need these two fields i am just removing them i just wanted to show that like after giving the flex the both have the equal uh, width all right okay so the next thing is let's say you want to just uh, center line the text then you can use text align center and here we go and uh, if you want to just uh, adjust them vertically text is you want to uh, center then again you can use text align vertically again center because there is a no space at all so still this is the same thing there will be no impact at all all right so now we applied the uh, style with the, this uh, you can say that flat list but let's say you want to just create a new component for all of these stuff then how you can create just simply create const user data or whatever na name you want to put there after that let's return and inside this return statement just copy this view from there to there cut from there and paste there next thing is you can just simply use this user data as a tag or as a component obviously simply there but if i am just save it you will see that there is an error because now in user data we don't have this item right style is that's okay style we are just uh, getting already from outside that's okay but item we don't have then how we can get this item so for that we need to pass a props from there so simply just put their item and inside the item i will just pass this this item right all right and if you want to just put some another name name let's say data then still this will work fine uh, okay so just go with the data once and uh, now how you can get it there simply use props and just get a const item there even you can put any name to there if you will put the data then still that is okay you just need to change this uh, uh, item with the name with data right i'm already taking it item because we already put that name so props dot data and here you can see that this is perfectly working fine so so just making them all everything is sync i'm just again putting it that item and item there also right and perfectly working fine so let's say you want to add one more item then there then it will again work fine so let me just add a bruce with id 4 
x y z let me save it and here we go we have the bruce in the list perfectly fine so with that way we can create a uh, uh, dynamic components or you can say that we are we can use the components inside the list and pass the probes next thing that we need to do like how we can just put all uh, this uh, user data component in the different file so for that just simply go to uh, your component folder if this folder is not created in your comp uh, in um, your project you can create because i just created it manually and uh, after that you can create any file let's say user data dot js and i am just uh, maximizing my uh, the vs code editor there so now what do you need to do there just copy this style as well as this user data component cut from there because we are using this style only inside the uh, user data the next thing you just need to copy the react native uh, import and now we don't need the style sheet there so if you want then you can remove it next thing is just come back there import uh, everything we don't need flat list because flat list is required inside the app.js here right and after just saving it what you need to do even uh, okay let's check out the output there will be a error so if i will, I will just save this app.js you can see that there is a error no error let me refresh it correct here you can see that there is an error like user data does not doesn't exist because we just get this uh, user data component outside this file to use it we have to import but before import i need to tell that file that we want to export it and how we can export it just simply put there export default and now come on the top of our app.js file simply use their import something from uh, components and user data and this put their user data right because we are exporting it with the uh, default that that's why we don't need these curly braces if we are uh, exporting it without default keyword that time we need the curly braces like this all right guys so now this is imported and this is already we are being using it then still you can see that this is working perfectly fine so for interview first question they can ask like uh, can we use custom component with flat list the answer is yes and how we can create it i already told you second thing how we can pass data from flat list to uh, child components or custom components simply as a probes as we are sending the normal data right next thing is uh, there could be like there so if we want to divide two boxes two views two text in an equal part then what we can use that time we can use the flex one right uh, let's say if we have three uh, item or four item then just simply put their flex one with each of them and they will be divide the screen equally all right so that's all for this video guys and i hope you enjoyed that video if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and please guys support me by and share your feedback in the comment section thank you so much